Hey guys, what's up? Chris here for BearGeekNation.com. Today we are looking at a new release from Allegish out of Portland, Maine. This is their St. Klippenstein. It's an Imperial Belgian, excuse me, Belgian Imperial Stout, aged in oak and bourbon barrels, coming at 11% alcohol by volume. I picked this one up at QualityLiquorStore.com. You can go there, order it, have it shipped directly to your house. Very excited about this one. I'm a big Allegash fanboy. I'm not gonna, not gonna deny it. Um, I really like what they do with their barrels. So, uh, one of my favorite beers of all time is their Curio, which is a triple aged in bourbon barrels for three months. And that's essentially what this is, except it's an imperial stout brewed with a Trappist yeast strain, which is awesome. Uh, it's uh, fermented a, a month in steel and then moved over to bourbon barrels for three months, much like Curio is. So not a lot of time on a barrel, but from what I've found, it really pulls a lot of flavors out. At least somehow they get it to do that. Uh, so with that said, let me get into a glass that so you guys know what it smells, taste, give the final verdict in the St. Klippenstein. All right, guys, the aroma. Well, right away, vanilla, toasted coconut, chocolate, espresso beans, some dark fruits, lots of dark fruit, like chocolate-covered cherries coming off this one. A little bit of a phenolic note, just awesome smelling beer. I guess the taste. Oh, wow, yeah. That's really good, wow. Not overly roasty at all. It's more of a sweeter stout, more dark fruits, plums, raisins, really, really dark, decadent, covered uh, chocolate cherries. You're definitely getting the vanilla, a little bit of toasted coconut sweetness in there, getting the oakiness, maybe even a little bit of char in there as well. Chocolate, coffee, kind of developing, kind of aftertaste almost, to kind of develop on the palate. Sweet finish, in the finish, I'm getting more of that bourbon barrel characteristic, like a sweet pipe tobacco, dark fruits, chocolate, cherries, coffee in the back there as well. It's just a really, really big, flavorful beer. Uh, complex for sure, a lot of flavors competing, but they all come together to form a really, really cohesive beer. Awesome stuff. All right, guys, so the final verdict on the St. Klippenstein, available now, 11% alcohol by volume. Pick this one up at qualityliquorstore.com. Gunning this one in A, guys. Absolutely fantastic stuff. Not only is it a fantastic Imperial Stout, I love the fact that they use a Trappist yeast strain on it. It just adds so much to the Imperial Stout. Adds that dark fruit characteristic, a little bit of phenolic characteristic. Doesn't dry it out quite as much, so there's more of like a, a residual kind of sweetness in there, which really helps to kind of carry the uh, the, the base beer in, over into the barrels. Once you get it into the barrels, that vanilla, the toasted coconut starts to play off the sweetness, the residual sweetness left over from that yeast strain. It just works really well. Only in the barrel for three months, but you still get a ton of barrel characteristic. You know, it's just classic bourbon barrel. Vanilla, toasted coconut, a little bit of oakiness in there. Works with the beer so perfectly. Awesome, awesome stuff. One of the best Imperial Stouts, barrel aged Imperial Stouts I've had in a long time. Getting an A from me, folks, life's too short. Drink amazing beers. Cheers.